G'day everyone. Today we're making the quick and easy farm tractor with animals from toymakingplants.com. We've got some uh, Australian camphor laurel, which is the lighter timber, um, and uh, Western Australian jarrah, which is the darker timber. I've got the piece here, I've got my plan. I, I like to use uh, packing tape. It uh, helps to lubricate the blade. It it um, helps in uh, removing the uh, label. Now we're uh, good to uh, to go up to the scroll saw. There we go. So we're going to drill a hole for the tow hitch in uh, the main body part. Um, I've set up a, a, a jig here. Um, I always like to drill these holes before cutting out the uh, the pattern um, it gives a nice clean hole uh, after cutting there we go i use bread point bits i've got an imperial set and a metric set um, i've also just recently bought myself this set of um, hull saws um, forstner bits very sharp um, and uh, very nice to use um, particularly cutting very clean holes are going to glue on the side piece. Uh, now I'm using both tight bond and super glue. The super glue um, so that when the piece goes on it uh, sticks very quickly and doesn't slide around when you do the clamp up. It's always a problem clamping up um, afterwards. And uh, I've put some pencil marks. There we go, that's, uh, it's not sliding now. We can clamp it. There we have it, leave it for 30 minutes. So we've reached a point where we need to now glue the, uh, the, the roof onto the tractor. Super glue this, and then um, and then put some dowels in the top. Again, one shot at this with the super glue. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds. I like to um, drill a hole and insert these in each of the four corners. Now I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so now time to cut the uh, dowels off, or the, the skewers off. I'll just cut these with the flat saw. Okay. Sand them off. There we go. All nice and flat, and now that uh, roof piece is uh, is a lot more secure. Now my dad is going to glue a piece of wood so he can get the wheels on, and put a piece of cardboard in, and then he's going to repeat that again. And then hammer it down. And then it looks pretty good. There's a bit of glue in here. And then Press the axle down into the slot. There we go. A little bit of glue squeeze out. So before we put the rear wheels on, I thought what we'd do is um, finish off the rest of the tractor first with the uh, with the orange oil. Now this is the oil that I've been using. It says uh, ideal for all wooden furniture, toys, and chopping boards. Very nice. Goes on very easily. I just use a small paintbrush and. Um, come back and put the rear wheels on. So we've finished oiling the tractor 
and uh, we've also oiled the wheels, not the axles, because I want the glue to stick. Um, so now we can put the, uh, the the wheels on the back. There we go. We'll let that sit and dry, and then I'll come back and uh, cut the little dowels off. There we go. I'll just dab a little bit more oil on there just to finish it off. Wipe it off. So there we have it. When I was gluing up the uh, the final parts of the tractor and gluing the, the rear wheels in, I uh, forgot to um, attach the guards first. The, in the plans, there's a little spacer in between the guard and the body. Um, I omitted this uh, simply because I wanted two glue points. The guard glues onto two areas um, and just makes those guards a little bit more secure. So now the tractor is all uh, is all finished, ready to go. Um, and um, while we, uh, while I was waiting for uh, for the glue to dry in certain areas, and, and I managed to cut out all the characters. Um, there's two different timbers here. There's the uh, camp for laurel, um, and also this uh, pink timber, which is uh, Tasmanian myrtle. Uh, both very nice timbers to work with. But overall, that was uh, a weekend's. Great weekend's project. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, watching the progress and uh, the completed toy. Mm -hmm.